Convicted pedophile Rolf Harris' last words to his daughter Bindi have been unveiled, after the disgraced Australian TV star's death at the age of 93. Rolf Harris told his only child Bindi to take care of her mother, just before the disgraced pedophile entertainer died from neck cancer and old age. Rolf, who died aged 93 at his home in Berkshire, England, on May 10, spoke with a feeding tube as he told his daughter to look after your mum, according to the Daily Telegraph. I always believed we would go on longer together but, if I go first, promise you'll take good care of your mum, Rolf said. The Australian publication also reported that Rolf's wife Alwyn is currently receiving 24-hour nursing care as she is in the latter stages of Alzheimer's. Before his death, Rolf had celebrated his 65th wedding anniversary with wife Alwyn. He had been diagnosed with neck cancer before dying of the disease and old age, his death certificate confirmed. A statement from his family, released through Rolf's solicitor after his death, read, This is to confirm that Rolf Harris recently died peacefully surrounded by family and friends and has now been laid to rest. They ask that you respect their privacy. No further comment will be made. It has been confirmed that Rolf has already been cremated after dying on May 10. In June 2014, Harris was convicted of several indecent assaults, including one of an eight-year-old seeking an autograph. Two girls in their early teens, an abuse of his daughter Bindi's friend over the course of 16 years. Harris was jailed for five years for 12 indecent assaults on four underage girls between 1968 and 1986, but his wife Alwyn continued supporting her husband publicly. In May 2017, Rolf was formally cleared of four unconnected historical sex offenses, which he had denied. Later that same year, one of the 12 indecent assault convictions was overturned by the Court of Appeal. Harris was released on license from Hemp Stafford on May 19, 2017, less than three years after his sentence began. The former celebrity had not spoken in public since his release from prison. Harris' crimes were brought to light by detectives from sex crime investigation operation Utree. He was the second person convicted under the National Inquiry, set up in the wake of abuse claims made against the late DJ and, and fellow children's TV entertainer Jimmy Savile.